Hello everyone, welcome back to the Critter Colts. Today's video is kind of two videos in one. The first half was during the fall season and the second half was during the spring season. Fall can be an interesting time where you can intercept adult pythons moving to their breeding grounds. Spring is, eh, it, it's not that amazing for finding pythons, but there are a lot of cool native snakes out on the move. I hope you all enjoy the video and can notice the difference between the two seasons. Oh yeah, so Megan and I have been we're edging this storm over here. We're right on the edge of it. And uh, usually when that's happening, we know snakes are moving. And we saw a big 10 foot gator in the road. And then just look at what I laid my eyes on right here. A beautiful adult Brooks King snake. You handsome. Look at that beautiful pattern. I don't see that on any other snakes down here. That is awesome. Alright, now it's reacting. Oh, oh wow. Much more snake, snake than I thought. You know what's funny, Meg? Yeah. To the minute, this is the exact time we caught last night. To the exact minute. That is cool. These snakes move in patterns. People don't believe me when I say it, but I mean, to the exact minute, we caught a python doing exactly what this snake was doing yesterday. It oh is, man. Did you just get like, nicked? No, it just hurts the muscle right here on my <laughs> on my thumb because of how how strong that jaw is and just like moving back and forth. Yeah, it's a powerful snake. This one's got a lot of fight. Oh yeah. It's got a lot of vigor, whatever the word is. <laughs> so we got a pretty awesome example of how resilient our rattlesnakes are here in southwest Florida. So look at this, we're out here in the middle of campus at Florida Gulf Coast University and still there's some diamondbacks here. It's a nice big rattlesnake. We're gonna go ahead and wait for the rattlesnake project to get here and move them somewhere safer from these roads. Very cool nonetheless. So awesome. <laughs> <laughs> the patterns on Brooks King Snakes vary a lot. This one had some beautiful light coloration, which is more characteristic of the Brooks phase. Yeah. Oh, it's periscoping. <laughs> it knew we wanted to go home. <laughs> uh, woke up now. <laughs> yeah. Woo! Oh, it like literally was on a fire ant nest. Ow! Yeah, look at those big spurs right there. That's a big male. It was a well, decent sized male that was moving back to his breeding ground, probably. Oh, he bit himself. A lot of stuff out moving tonight. Wow. Oh. You're huge. That nice big corn snake saved off the road. Awesome. Really the first snake of the night. Get him. Yeah. Hold it out. Here, give me there a light. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm at to say 11 feet. Yeah. Woohoo! Yeah. yeah. There you go, dude. Holy shit. Woo nice. Yeah, watch this huge. coil. That's the danger one. Yeah. That's gorgeous. That iridescent. Oh, he just found me. Go <laughs> ahead. Keep coiling. and tie yourself out. That is one of the largest males I've come across in the wild. Holy crap. That is a big boy. Usually the average male we see is between seven and nine feet. So, oh my God. He is just came out of the water too. So we know he's moving for a reason and he's moving to breeding grounds. I mean, look at him. He is a healthy boy. I bet he would have bred with a lot of females. So it's a great one to remove. 
hear that at Duff Does Nature Stuff. You gotta come out and hunt. We took Duff's you wanna catch snakes? Man. Got him a big snake before Duff did. Yeah, yeah. it's no big deal. <laughs> Swim into the water. I think it'd be at least one gram of protein. I don't know if this boy weighs a gram. <laughs> Here you go, buddy. Look how green you are. I totally could have bit you there, he didn't. Nice! Aww, I had it under control. <laughs> yeah. yeah! Wow, that's interesting. That's crazy. What else does that? Do this, you know? Yeah. Python tells a story. Right here, look at that. What the hell is that from? I don't even know. We were thinking gator. There's no bite underneath. But we know this guy was fighting with some sort of native predator here. Where he took a pretty good bite or I don't even know what that could be from, but it's healed over somewhat. Oh my God, I, I'm, ah, look at your little face and your little yellow spotted arms. Hey. You're beautiful! Oh, my diary. We don't know what was happening this night, but we found two separate Florida box turtles sleeping on the side of the road. This species population is already struggling, so we made sure to move these guys to safety. Anyway. There's two. There's two? No fucking way. No fucking okay. what? Okay, I'm gonna get. I don't even see the second one. I'll get this one then. Okay, yeah. Grab it, and I'll get the second one. Yeah. Oh my oh, god. No. What the? What? This one's so close to biting me right now. <laughs> you can't get me. So if you, so we got two pythons moving like two feet apart from each other. Never seen this at night before, but let me guess. This one here is a male. I'm shaking. Yep, that's a male right there. And let me take a look at this one. Also a male. So these two are probably sniffing out some girl somewhere in this area. And this one was following, or this one was following the scent of that one, or vice versa. But they were moving in the exact same spot. That's never happened to me before. Me neither. What the hell? That what? is it. I saw the one head poked up. And, and then that one, this one with the what? <laughs> That's a okay, so we've sat in here and processed what just happened. Some insanity. Look at that, Megan. So what do we got here? Uh, we just got to our survey area and Kyle yelled python and then he yelled second python and there were two snakes in the same spot which never happens so i mean feet apart really like awesome. literally on, like touching each other actually yeah. that was <laughs> that not was crazy not a coincidence not a coincidence yeah. at all this is for a reason that they're doing this this doesn't usually happen but it's the time of year where they're going to move to the breeding ground so it's probably what these two were doing yeah both Size males. <laughs> yeah, one of them's even like a little small, but I bet he could breed. One of them is getting a little too close to my personal area, so I think he is in breeding. <laughs> He's ready to breed. <laughs> <laughs> He's 
red, orange, and yellow. That's fire. Straight up Roy G. Biv in it. He's so chill now. That's definitely what he's going for. Oh, he's getting his chin shut off. She. She's a man. <laughs> yeah. There. Oh. Oh, there That's you go. That's gotta feel good. Oh, wow. That is crazy. Wow. There you go. Let me get the belly off. Yeah. Oh, this is good. Good lady. Merry Christmas. <laughs> Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> Huh? You guys also documented to be the largest clutchling snake in North America. Native, Dang. over a hundred eggs, and oh they guard God. their nest. They sit in the nest with them for a period of time. Dude, Kyle mm -hmm. coming out of nowhere with the whole. Oh, Dorso just told me that. I was blown away by that. I didn't know that. Now you like mud snakes. What? <laughs> <laughs> Beautiful. One of Megan and I's favorite out here. It's okay, buddy. <laughs> Eastern mud snake. Wow. They put on a show, but never ever been bit by any of these. It's a sassy look he's giving us. <laughs> well, we got a fun. Oh, miscalculated bite right there. So king snakes actually eat other snakes, and we've been seeing a lot more of them over the past two years. Uh, it's kind of making us wonder. Maybe these things are eating a lot of the baby pythons. <laughs> He's still there, trying to bear his Everglades rat snake. You can safely cross the road. Mm -hmm. Hello. Curious about your phone. They always are. They <laughs> Calm down a bit. Appreciate it. No bites. Yeah, I'm surprised. It. I'm surprised, but uh, yes. Very appreciative. It's gorgeous. Wow. Look how big he is. Haha. <laughs> very curious. Hello. Aww. Such a cute face. Oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, number one of the night. 
little yearling. That's right there, Meg. Nice snatch. Yay. Oops, sorry for strobing you there. There we go. On my face. Oh, like no. right there. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Stinky. That's fair. Yeah, we caught him. It is fair. <laughs> First of the night. Yay. Cool. Crazy thing, this is a year old snake, and that is bigger than almost all of our native snakes. All, all but two. <laughs> all but like, two? Yeah, crazy. Does not belong here. We gotta take him out. Sorry, yeah. little friend. As you can see, spring is not great for finding pythons, but it is really great for finding native snakes. We are definitely lucky to have seen all that we did, but remember, you can't find cool critters sitting on your couch at home. Thank you so much for watching this video. We are so grateful for everyone who watches our stuff. Stay tuned for our summer video coming out next.